close your eyes, focus on your breath. Watch the breath as it comes in, watch the breath as it goes out. Notice where you feel the breath. And if it feels comfortable, keep breathing in that way. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Make it longer or shorter, deeper or more shallow. Try to adjust the breath so the mind has a good place to stay, where it can stay here steadily, not want to go running off. The problem in life is our mind is running around all the place. It's like a little child that hasn't been trained. You know what happens to children when they don't get trained? They turn into difficult adults. But if you get trained, okay, then you do and say and speak things that are for your own good and for the good of the people around you. You take this power of a human mind and you direct it in the right direction. But it does need training. That's why we tie it down to the breath. Now, in tying it down, we want to make sure that it's comfortable. Otherwise, it's going to keep struggling to get away. And the nat natural habit, of course, is that because it's been running around all the time, it's going to kind of keep running around and pulling at the pulling at the leash. So you have to keep reminding it why it's a good thing to be here. The mind needs more mindfulness. It needs more alertness. It needs more concentration and discernment. How are you going to find those things? Only when the mind gets trained to stay very still, so it can watch, see what's going on, not get blurred out by all of its preoccupations, all of its distractions. You want the mind to be sharp and clear. So this is how you do it. You get very, very clear in the present moment what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're thinking. That becomes clear as well. You begin to see where these actions come from, and you can see where they go. That way you can begin to choose okay, which ones are actually going to be helpful and which ones are not. But it all comes from the mind's being trained. As the Buddha once said, the, the only true happiness comes from the mind's training. If the mind isn't trained, then you can get all kinds of wealth and all kinds of status and other good things in the world, but the mind is still not going to be satisfied. It can use that wealth and status to a lot of bad ends, in which case it takes good things and turns them bad, because the mind itself is not trained. But if the mind is trained, it can actually take bad things and turn them into good. Like when there's loss of wealth, you can reflect on what's really important in life. When there's loss of status, you can reflect on what's really important in life. Realizing that wealth and status aren't yours to begin with, and so they're not yours to hold on to. And you begin to see that real happiness doesn't lie outside, it lies in the qualities you develop in the mind. So it takes a little time here to focus on the breath and get the mind to settle down so it can be a little bit more clear, a little bit more alert. And when the mind is clear, then things around you become clear as well. 